Yo, there's a red map. A scythe midi. Surrounded by revs. I approve. Yeah, the midi's from scythe map 26. And this first section, you have to be quick about these switches. The switch sequence, because the rest can catch up to you, leave a couple of 80s on your doorstep, and you're gonna die. But with practice, I got very consistent at this. Now at this point, I like to back up, let the non-homing missiles pass. Now for this part, so we got platforming. Uh, you know, I mean, I just want to survive the demo, so I can just take it slow, right? No. <laughs> no, you got rev missiles chasing you the whole time. You don't have to be, like, too fast, but you have to be, like, at least a little bit fluid. Like, the majority of these platforms, you gotta be pretty quick at it. So I struggled a lot with this back back when I first played it, because I hadn't done Toilet of the Gods Map 4 or Dimensions Map 2 or any of that stuff, so I struggled a lot with this at first. But, yeah, that started to get consistent later on in the attempts. And now for the hard part, the fight. <laughs> so you can die trying to grab this BFG. Like, take, like, check this out. Like, this dude comes in and, like, takes all my space away, like, bro. Anyway. So I shoot until I drop to 100 cells, and I grab two more cells, and that's kind of the way to do it. Because this wad, this map has an ammo situation. There's no backpack, so you gotta manage it well. And yeah, I just keep going back and forth. The biggest thing about this is, since it's such a giant arena, so many revenants, so many cybers, a lot of stuff kind of blends in as you're looking at across this giant landscape. So it's easy to miss one like here, for example. That part of the fight. But yeah, if I can make a quick U around the cacos and hit them a little bit, then I'll go ahead whenever I'm in that corner. Alright, now at this point I need to push back to the beginning. I wanted to grab some cells there, because if you run out of ammo back here, like in this tight spot right there, you'll die for sure. Alright, once again, push around these revs. Get that rev technique of pushing through them. And all of that going. Alright, and then once again, yeah, this, the, that's another case where, like, rockets can just fit through your line of sight. <laughs> Alright, I had to grab that that mega right there. I was scared. Alright, this is the exception to that rev rule. If you got a little ledge up, it's a little better to just go around. And yeah, so, usually I save that mega, like, the first time I went around. I actually save it for this pass right here. But that went so smoothly, like the revs were just so nice to me that time. I'll take it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I thought that was gonna kill that cyber, to be real with you. Anyway, yeah. At this point, pretty much the only thing that can kill you is silly mistakes. And the cleanup is still pretty dangerous for a couple reasons. Of course, you got the ammo situation, You'll have, you have to keep grabbing more and being aware of it, which I, I probably should have mentioned in the awareness videos. Also, there's like awareness of how much ammo and uh, health you have at a given time on top of just taking in all the visual information. But that makes it pretty tough that you can run out, because if you run out like in the middle of these pigs, for example, or in the middle of revs as you're trying to pass through, then yeah, you're stuck because there's no other guns in the map. So now, really just, really taking control, just little, little tight spots like that is all there is to it. So, again about this ammo thing, I was a lot better in practice because I was very careful in general, like as soon as I dropped to 100 like that for example, I would just get, I would just go ahead and um, fill out my cells to 300 and then um, be more efficient that way, but like, I would some a lot of times during this demo, I would be at like 20 cells, and then I would go and grab a full like three cell pack. So I'm losing a whole BFG shot like that. So I'm pretty much I'm grabbing a cell pack at 280, so that's no good. And if I was as good with the ammo uh, conservation as I was in practice, I think the time could have been a lot faster. I'm not too worried about time for this, um, the wad isn't final, he did say that he doesn't want to make any changes to this map, so the demo will probably still sync fine with the new version, but 
I recorded anyway because I wanted to show the maps off for one thing. And another thing is uh, I can always do it again. It, it didn't it wasn't too much of a grind. A good thing that cell pack was there. It wouldn't have killed me, I think, but it's still nice. Alright, that was probably the closest call in the second half. So, at this point, there's so many cackles on the floor that you're not going to be able to find those megaspheres unless they're on the edge. And sure enough, the one is actually, it's behind me, I think. Or no, maybe not. No, I think it's behind me, like, right now. Yeah, there. Alright, finally, I started being more careful about this ammo situation, because somehow this whole reservoir just got eaten up. And you'll see the cleanup is pretty ugly. That's okay, that's what second exits are for. Inferno has a 710. So I guess that's what I got to compete with if I really wanted the record on this. I think a lot of people are going to run this map because it's just so much fun and it's so short compared to... It's very short compared to the rest of the, the maps. It, it's probably the most doable one as I was playing. And map 4 and 32. So anyway, cleaning up these last few, and so again, uh, the SWAT is by El, El, El Inferno, and yeah, so he went ahead and maxed his own maps. I, I kept uh, I kept giving him a hard time, like, hey, can you beat your own fights, you know? So he went ahead and maxed it and proved me wrong. But that was cool. I always like when the mappers max their own maps, it's like, it's really to show your Show your knowledge of the map and uh, how well, how you how you play tested it. It's kind of why I personally, I'm committing so far to max all of the all of my maps before I release them. Yeah, another thing about this wad is the platforming. I think if you like are intermediate in platforming, you've done like the Sunder stuff, uh, you've played Dimensions. Maybe you don't have to have played Dimensions, but you've done at least like basic platforming. Um, this is the wad to really step it up if you want to, because it's always just a little bit harder. Every platform just feels like it's at a distance, and you gotta build up speed, and you gotta maybe even uh, SR40, a lot of them. But all right, the map is done. Now we just go back up, and the exit's over there. So, if you want, there is a non-secret. Actually, I have a mega to spare down there. But there is a non-secret. What you do is you SR50 from here to here. And yeah, there's SR50 jumps in this wad too. Oh yeah. So anyway, you got this whole section that you can run through. And then there's a, there's a fun platforming section. And eventually you'll reach... Uh, you'll reach an armor bonus, so go exploring. I did it once, it was fun. And that's Dance on the Water map too. The WAD has a lot of endurance fights as you can see. This, I mean, I got to that big fight at like the one minute mark, so it's six minutes and 52 seconds of, you know, of uh, endurance. You got a lot of rev missiles, you got a lot of cybers that can hit you in the big landscape, and again, like, it's hard to see them in, in the middle of everything else. Yeah, so this uh, structure that we're looking at here actually is from map one. So he actually like built this. This is actually in the map. It looks a lot better <laughs> when you actually play the map though. Yeah, so I skipped map one because it's too hard, at least for now. And map three, I don't think it's even possible. I don't think anyone is gonna max that map. Feel free to prove me wrong. But there are a few other maps in this wild that I would like to max. Very interesting stuff. So hopefully I'll be showing some more of that off in the coming days. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, so next time, peace.